Simon, this is your product, this is your baby. You've built this at RDM. What, what's, the, what's the purpose behind it? Yeah, so this is a last mile transport solution. So the idea of this vehicle is there will be a fleet of these vehicles in the town or city where they're operating. Um, you would call them up with an app on your phone um, or you could go to a kiosk and, and have a ticket. Um, it will come to you without anybody in it. You'll get in it, it'll give you a passcode to open the door, you'll get in it and it'll take you to where you've already told it, where you wanted to go from the app. Um, yeah. So what, what's the benefit to society, let's say? Okay, so the idea is that um, you'd have a fleet of these vehicles that would be running around and rather than having uh, everyone having their own personal car and then using it for 5% of the time and parking it for 95% of the time, uh, the idea of these vehicles is that they're very heavily utilised um, and they're on on-demand service. So, um, so you can move people around um, in your city. These are obviously electric, zero emissions at, uh, at point of use. Um, and they will, um, they will take quite a number of people. Um, this particular one is a four-seater one. We also do an eight-seater one, uh, and even bigger than that. Um, and they run on the pedestrian precinct areas. So you get in it at the park and ride, and you can drive with it all the way down to you know, the local shops in the middle of the city centre. There's even um, uh, some plans to drive through some of the shopping malls in city centres. So unlike a taxi, it doesn't talk to you on the way? Uh, well, of course, you can interact with it. Um, it. It has a VR system, virtual reality system in this particular one. But, but uh, have, you, so have you designed, you've manufactured, you've done everything? This is solely RDM's product? Yeah, so we're a little Coventry-based company. Um, we're the same company that did the Lutz Pathfinder vehicles for the transport systems catapult. Uh, which is a project that's running in Milton Keynes. So, uh, so we had a head start because the Transport Systems Catapult um, nominated us. It was an open engine uh, engineering bid competition. Uh, we won that bid and engineered those vehicles, three of them, for the Transport Systems Catapult. Uh, with the learning that we had from doing that project and, uh, and with the growing market that is appearing, uh, we thought, hey, we can, we can do this. We can, uh, we can build a slightly bigger one, so a four-seater one rather than the two-seater we built before. Um, we can take some learning and some experiences and uh, yeah and we could go ahead and we have all the different facets you need to build an autonomous vehicle so we have the engineering of the mechanical vehicle does this vehicle isn't based off some other vehicle it's completely from the ground up designed for this purpose um, we have all the computing technology um, we have the control systems we have uh, the ability to safety engineering so we've used uh, people like Myra to do a safety analysis of this vehicle in the system. So, so the, the, the health and safety is a massive one. I mean, you know, t tell me more about that. What about this travelling down a, a road and there, there being an accident or how does it avoid obstacles and potential hazards? Yeah, so the vehicle itself um, is guided from a pre-built map. So we have a, a map that's a high definition scan of the area we need to operate and the map is um, created basically without any hazards in it, no people, um, it just has the infrastructure in it. Uh, and then on the, on the pod system itself, we have uh, laser scanners, stereo cameras, ultrasonic sensors, um, and we also have a, um, a safety driver who's remotely outside the vehicle, so basically video surveillance um, of the system. Uh, and we're ensuring that the pods are going at an appropriate speed for the amount of congestion. Okay, and now I wouldn't buy one of these from you. How does how does how's the makeup of who purchases these from you, and how does that work? Yeah, so the intention is that there would be a fleet of these op uh, operated by a fleet operator, similar to uh, a bus company, um, that kind of model. So they would be contracted by city councils, town councils, to provide some transport. Um, yeah, and you would uh, only use it on demand. So you use it, um, you call it on your app. It takes a few minutes to come to you. It then takes you exactly where you want to go and then it goes away and finds the next ride um, to take them. And this is a model, there's no windows in this one, but are you anticipating that you know, a final product would have windows within it? Yeah, so for some scenarios, uh, actually windows are not needed. So there are some cases where um, we have a system uh, that would possibly be running in tunnels, so mostly hidden. So people are building new shopping centres. Um, they don't really want the transport um, directly interfacing with the people, but they do want it to pop out of a tunnel into an open plaza, pick up some more rides and then disappear again. So for that kind of purposes, obviously there's nothing to see. So there's no point to having any windows. 
Uh, and having a virtual reality inside gives you all sorts of other um, benefits. Uh, you could watch a movie. You can watch movies. You could be in the movie. You could be in a 3D game when you're running. You could you know, play your Minecraft when you're running um, down to the shops and back. So some people would rather be in here than on their sofa. Uh, yeah, I talked to my kids. They would certainly much rather be in this as a big 3D game engine than they would sitting on the sofa only with the one dimension. Now, now when, are, when, when are we going to see these? When, when, when could we be sitting in one of these going from A to B in a town centre, for example? So uh, this particular one is the first of a fleet of 40 of them that we are building um, for an Innovate UK project, uh, which is called Autodrive UK. And Autodrive UK is putting a fleet of 40 of these to Milton Keynes um, by the um, end of 2018. So residents of MK, watch out. Uh, yeah, um, exciting times for everybody.